Hey guys, today we're going to be covering the top five Thousand Trails membership regrets. It's a big purchase, so you need to make sure that it's right for you. Let's roll that intro and we'll tell you more. our Thousand Trails membership for four years now and we are sure to use it every year and it has personally saved us thousands of dollars. That is not the case for everyone. Since we talk about Thousand Trails a lot, we do get some folks telling us of their experience and their regrets of the membership. And because we like to give a holistic view of certain topics, we figured sharing their regrets was the perfect video for you to get all of the information you need to know so you can decide if a Thousand Trails membership is right for you or not. So today we're gonna be discussing the top five regrets that we hear most frequently from fellow Thousand Trails owners. And with that said, let's dive right into the first one. The top regret that we hear the most is not purchasing a resale or used membership. We totally understand because brand new memberships, while they do have some extra fancy perks that you may or may not want or use, they do cost thousands of dollars more. For us, when we started looking into it, uh, we had already purchased a timeshare that kind of has like similar connotations to it as a campground membership. And uh, we looked and really researched into purchasing a used timeshare versus a new one. And we saw how much money we could save. So when looking into the Thousand Trails membership, I immediately looked to see if you could buy a resale membership to see if you could save money. And I was right. <laughs> and so we were able to actually uh, make contact with Kim at Campground Membership Outlet. She walked us through all the different membership options and helped us pick the one that was right for us, which happened to be an elite level membership sent at the time we were planning on going up and down the East Coast and the elite gave us access to all of the East Coast parks. And so that was really, really cool and we got really in depth and she answered all of our questions. And so uh, for us, purchasing a resale membership was a huge money saver and was the right thing to do. Many people who buy new shortly realize once they get into the parks and start talking to other members that they could have purchased their almost exact plan for thousands of dollars less. So it makes sense that this is the number one regret that we hear. The second topic that's brought up to us is that people don't use their memberships enough. If you're looking into Thousand Trails, it's very important for you to know that you will be staying in the parks for as many nights as you need to pay off the membership. So for us, buying used, it was a couple thousand dollar investment, so we knew the first year we needed to use Thousand Trails like it was nobody's business, and we did. I believe we ended up making our nightly rate around $20 a night. But then the second year, when all we had to do was pay our annual dues, we were able to get our nightly rate down to about $5. So it's really important to make sure that you're going to be using your membership enough. Yeah, and if you're not the kind of person who winters in an RV and you're not going to spend uh, three to four weeks at a RV park before you move on, you might want to really look at how many days you'll actually be spending in the Thousand Trails Park. I know every year we're gonna spend at least 100 nights in a Thousand Trails without even trying just from the amount of time we spend in them close to family in the winter, whether it's in Texas or in California. Next up is not knowing your membership's limitations. Thousand Trails is confusing when you're first looking at purchasing a membership. There are so many different specific rules and there you need to pretty much pull out a Thousand Trails glossary to figure out what does park to park mean and what is a trails collection versus a Thousand Trails and uh, what is um, high use mean and all of that. But once you are in the network, <laughs> It makes it really easy because as you go to book something, it'll either let you book it or it won't. And it'll automatically take all of those rules into account. So when you're looking into it, 
it's it's very very confusing especially if you're trying to learn what the limitations of your membership would be i get it it gets frustrating especially if you're trying to book a trip and it's happened to us before where you're planning out the trip and you're looking at where you could stay and then you actually find a uh, thousand trails or encore park in a perfect location and you go to book it and it says you can't and so you start to research why and it's like oh well the previous park was also a trails collection park and so you need to be out of trails collection for seven days and so there's just there are limitations but once you know them it's easy enough to work around them but it is still like a, a big rule book. Another benefit of buying used through Kim at Campground Membership Outlet is that she will help you understand some of these limitations as you're looking at certain memberships. And unfortunately, each membership can be very different. Because you are able to sell your membership, certain benefits might pass down and certain benefits won't. And same thing with new. If you buy new, that's a whole nother set of rules that you need to learn. So unfortunately, there really isn't a one size fits it's all or even five different memberships. There are so many different memberships with so many little nuances to each that it makes it pretty difficult when you're researching which membership you want to buy, what are the rules and limitations to it. The next regret we hear a lot is folks not understanding that Thousand Trails isn't in every state. Now this one seems surprising to me because when we were researching, we looked at a map to see where all of the parks were to ensure that we were going to be able to stay in these parks and they would be along our route. Not everybody does that before buying a membership, or they assume a zone pass includes a certain area and that would just mean it would be in all of those states. But you really need to look into where the parks are before buying a membership and making sure that they're going to be along your route or in places that you'd even want to stay. The last thing you want to do is buy a Thousand Trails membership, even if it's the Smallage package, which is a zone pass, and then discover that when you start to book, there aren't any Thousand Trails in the area that you're going to be traveling to. And the final regret that we hear a ton is just the overall cost. Since this is a membership that you're purchasing and you're putting in all of your campground fees up front, it can be a hard pill to swallow. Uh, if things change, you are camping less or uh, not camping at all, you've already put all your eggs in the camping basket. The cost is a regret that we hear quite frequently from those who've changed their minds and found out that RVing is not for them. Yes, and the cost actually ties into the first regret we mentioned of buying the most expensive membership new and then realizing that you could have saved thousands of dollars. So make sure when you're looking at this investment that you are considering all of the items that we listed above and be sure it's worth your investment. That is the number one priority. A lot of people also don't understand that if you're paying those thousands of dollars up front to buy the membership, they think that's it. But there is an annual fee on top of that. So just be sure when you get your paperwork that you understand what you're paying for now and what you'll have to pay for each year and any of the add-ons that you get because like us, we get the trails collection add-on and that is an additional fee every year. But again, we just make sure we stay in enough trails collection parks to make sure that that annual fee is worth it to us. So pay attention to all the fine details. It seems pretty self-explanatory when you talk to people, but it never hurts to just read every page and understand every line item. So overall, people always ask, is Thousand Trails worth it? And for us, it has unequivocally been worth it. We have spent so much less money on campground fees uh, because of Thousand Trails. And even to this day where we kind of split our time 30% in Thousand Trails, 30% in other private um, or public paid campgrounds, and 30% boondocking, we still save so much money in just that 30% of the year, 100 days out of the year that we save with our membership. So to answer the question, for us, absolutely. 
So those are the top five regrets that we hear the most from people who have purchased their Thousand Trails membership. Again, it's really up to you to do your research, learn your facts. So we hope that this video helped dispel some myths or answer some questions for you. If you did like this video, please subscribe to our channel as a lot of you watching aren't subscribed. So let us know if you have any regrets for Thousand Trails. I'm sure it would help other folks who are still trying to determine if this membership is right for them to read through your comments and learn a thing or two. So again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Rude. Were you singing something? <laughs> Today we're going to cover the top five regrets. No regrets. <laughs> Not even one. Not even one letter. We're going to be going over the top five regrets that we hear the most often. I guess I should say regrets of what? <laughs> Just regrets in Just general. Just regrets in general. <laughs> While we do promote Thousand Trails very often, <laughs> My brain broke. Are you a robot? <laughs> Personally, we've had our thousand. Yep. Why don't you do the intro? The very, very intro. You do it. Okay. <laughs> the first regret that we hear the most is not purchasing a of a thousand trails membership. We. <laughs> See? It's hard.